Today we're going to look at past exam questions related to simultaneous equation that involves uh, quadratics. So let's start with the first question. We are asked to solve the simultaneous equation via x squared plus y squared equals 13 and x equals y minus 5. I'm going to be using substitution method to solve this equation. Uh, because we know that x equals uh, to y minus 5, I'm going to substitute y minus 5 instead of x in the uh, first equation. Okay, so we will have y minus 5 all squared plus y squared equals 13. So I'm going to represent... Uh, y minus 5 squared as y minus 5 times y minus 5 plus y squared equals 13. Next step is to expand the bracket. So we will have y squared minus 5y minus 5y plus 25 plus um, y squared gives us uh, 13. Um, you can see here that we have like terms, so y square and y square, and we also have a negative uh, 5y and negative 5y. So let's collect the like term that gives us 2y squared minus 10y plus 25 uh, equals 13. My advice is, when you are dealing with quadratic equation, make sure you put every term on one side and make it equal to uh, 0. So to do that, I'm going to subtract uh, 13 from both sides. So we will have 2y squared minus 10y plus 12. Uh, equals uh, zero. Now, if you pay attention uh, uh, the numbers in this equation, so the coefficient in front of the y square, uh, coefficient in front of the y, and then our constant, you can see that all these numbers are even number. So I'm going to divide the whole equation um, uh, by two uh, to make it more simpler. So we will have y squared minus 5y plus 6 uh, equals 0. We're going to solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. Uh, so when we factorize in quadratics, uh, we are looking at um, two numbers that uh, they multiply to 6. So we're looking at two numbers that when we multiply, we get 6. The, uh, and when we add them up, uh, we should get, um, we should get um, negative 5. Okay, so I am going to uh, write up now factors of 6. So factors of 6 can be 1 and 6 or negative 1 and negative 6 because when we multiply two negative numbers, we will uh, get the positive answer. And then uh, other factors can be 2 and 3 or negative 2 and the negative 3. Because we want uh, the two numbers that they add up to uh, negative 5, uh, so the factor pairs that we are interested uh, is negative 2 uh, and the negative 3. So when I am mm, uh, writing up the double brackets, so I'm going to place the y in uh, both brackets. And then because our numbers are minus 2 and the minus 3, I'm going to put minus 2 in the first bracket and then minus 3 on the second bracket. Now, we're going to uh, find the y value. So y minus 2 equals 0. That means that y is 2 and y minus 3 um, equals 0. So y equals uh, 3. So now we're going to substitute the y values in the second 
equation uh, to uh, find um, uh, x. So I'm just going to um, uh, copy that uh, down. So x is y, uh, y minus 5. Um, so that's the second equation. So I'm going to sub y in this equation to find x. So when y is 2, x is going to be 2 minus 5, which gives us negative 3. And then when y is 3, x is going to be 3 minus 5, which gives us negative 2. So answer for this equation is uh, uh, when y is 2, uh, x is negative 3. And then when y is 3, x is negative 2. Now, let's have a look at the uh, uh, second uh, example. So here, um, uh, we know that x squared plus y squared uh, equals uh, 17. Um, and we know that y equals x minus 3. So, similar to the first example, so I'm going to take x minus 3 and substitute instead of y uh, in first equation. So, we will have x squared plus x minus 3 all squared equals 17. So we're going to express x minus 3 all squared as x minus 3 times x minus 3, which equals uh, 17. So next step, we're going to uh, expand the bracket. So we will have x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. Uh, equals 17. So you can see here that we have like terms such as x squared uh, and x squared. And then we also have a negative 3x and a negative 3x. So let's uh, collect the like terms. So we will have 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 17. As I said before, uh, when we have quadratic equation, make sure you put every term on the one side and then make it this equation to equals zero. So I'm going to subtract 17 uh, from both sides. So we will have 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equals zero. Now you can see that all the numbers um, uh, in these equations are the even numbers. So I'm going to divide the whole equation by two to uh, simplify. Um, so we will have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals zero. So we're going to solve this uh, quadratic equation by factorizing. So we're going to factorize the quadratic. So we are looking at two numbers. When we multiply, it gives us negative 4, uh, negative uh, 4. Okay. But when we add them up, um, it, gives, uh, 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 it gives negative uh, 3. So first thing, I'm going to uh, place all the factors of negative 4. We know that when you're looking at the factors of a uh, negative number, uh, one factor should be positive and then one uh, factor should be negative. Okay, so that uh, the factors of negative 4 could be 1 and minus 4 or minus 1 and positive 4. And then it could be uh, negative 2 and uh, 2. So uh, we want the, uh, the, the factors uh, when they add up um, mm, uh, gives us uh, negative 3. So the, the factor pairs we're going to go for is um, minus 1 um, and uh, um, sorry, minus 4 and 1. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, this is the uh, uh, minus 4 and then 1. That's the factor pair we are interested. So we're going to uh, write up the double brackets. I'm going to place x in both brackets. 
and then because our numbers are is one and negative four so i'm going to uh, write a positive one in the first question um, first bracket and then negative four in the second bracket and then we make it equals to zero so to solve this uh, equation and find the values of x so we make it x plus one equals to zero from here x is going to be negative one and then um, x minus 4 equals uh, 0. So here x is going to be positive 4. So uh, since we know the um, uh, values of x, so I'm going to take that uh, values and then substitute the second equation to work out y. So I'm going to copy that equation. So y is x minus 3. y equals x minus 3. So it's easier uh to see so i know the um, uh so we're going to substitute x here so when x is negative one y is going to be minus one minus three which gives us negative uh, four uh and then when x is uh, four y is going to be four minus three uh and then that's going to be one so the answer for this uh, equation is when x is negative 1, y is negative 4. And then when x equals 4, uh, y equals uh, uh, 1. Okay, now let's move to the next uh, question and then let's solve it. So here uh, we are asked to solve this simultaneous equation where uh, we know that x squared plus y squared equals 34 and x minus y um, equals um, 2. So the first step to solve this equation is uh, to make uh, x subject of the equation. Okay, because we know that x minus y equals 2, to make the x subject of the equation, that will be 2 plus y. Okay, so now I'm going to take 2 plus y and then substitute instead of x in the first equation. So we will have 2 plus y all squared plus y squared gives us 34. Uh, now uh, let's express 2 plus 5 all squared as um, 2 plus y uh, times 2 plus y plus y squared equals 34. So let's expand the brackets. We will have 4 plus 2y plus 2y plus y squared. So we're going to bring the y squared down and that's equals to 34. Now let's uh, collect like terms. So like terms here is positive 2y and the positive 2y. And then also y square and y square. So when we collect the like terms, we will have 2y square plus 4y plus 4 equals 34. So now let's subtract 34 from both sides. Uh, we will have 2y square plus uh, 4y minus uh, 30 uh, equals um, uh, 0. So like uh, previous equations, so I'm going to divide the whole equation by 2 just to make it more simple. So we will have y squared plus 2y minus 15 equals 0. So let's factorize uh, this quadratic equation. So first we're going to look at the factors of minus 15. So uh, that could be 1 and negative 15 or um, negative 1 and positive 15. It could be negative 3 and positive 5 or 3 and negative 5. Since we want the factor pairs that add up to um, add up to positive uh, positive uh, 2, I'm going to go for, uh, 5 and negative 3. So that is the factor pair that I am interested. Now we can, uh, so I'm going to write up double brackets. I'm going to place the y in both of the brackets because the 
the fact that we are interested is negative 3 in the phi, I'm going to place negative 3 in the first bracket and then positive 5 on the second bracket. So now let's work out the y. So since y minus 3 equals to 0, y is 3 and then y plus 5 equals 0, y is negative 5. Now since we uh, work out the values of the y's. Now we need to find the x values. So I'm going to uh, copy this equation uh, below. Uh, I'm going to copy this equation below so, uh, to find the x. So x is 2 plus y. So I'm just going to x equals 2 plus y. Uh, so now when y is free, x will be 2 plus 3 uh, uh, 2 plus 3 that gives me uh, 5 that gives me uh, 5 and uh, when y is minus 4 x is going to be 2 minus 5 uh, or you can write up as uh, 2 uh, plus minus 5 um, it's the same so you can write up as 2 plus minus 5 and we know that x is negative uh, 3. So the answers uh, of this question uh, is, uh, so when x, so y is 3, x is 5 and then when y is negative 5, uh, x equals uh, um, a negative uh, 3.